you can obviously tell the strengths of acids if you have the constants, equilibrium constants, Ka, for the two acids. However, even if you're not given those constants, you can look at the structure itself and figure out whether one acid will be stronger than another. In order for a chemical to be an acid, the hydrogen has to have a partial positive charge. If you think about a reaction with water, the only reason water is attracted to a positive proton is water has those negative electrons, and negative is attracted to positive. So, for example, if you had a carbon-hydrogen bond, that bond has no polar character to it. The left side and the right side are basically neutral. So that's a nonpolar covalent bond. The hydrogen is not acidic because it's not positive. If you pair up a positive sodium with a negative hydride, this one is also not attracted to water's negative electrons. So that's also not acidic. In order for something to be acidic, that hydrogen has to have a partially positive charge. So when it's connected to something with a large electronegativity, like fluorine, that makes that hydrogen able to act as an acid. If you're comparing two binary acids, so two chemicals that have hydrogen and one other element, you can compare when the elements are in the same column of the periodic table, because we know that the bond strength gets weaker as you move down in the periodic table. If that bond is weaker, that's more easily attacked by an oxygen, and that makes the acid stronger, not weaker. So if you have hydrofluoric, hydrochloric, and hydrobromic, the strongest one would be the one at the bottom of the table. Hydrobromic acid is a strong acid. Hydrofluoric acid is not a strong acid. In fact, it's a weak acid. When you're looking at the same row of the periodic table, then instead of bond strength, the thing that makes the difference is the electronegativity. As you move to the right in the periodic table, the electronegativity gets bigger. So if you compare carbon, nitrogen, and fluorine, carbon to hydrogen bond, nitrogen to hydrogen bond, and fluorine to hydrogen bond, this one would be the strongest acid because there is the largest difference in electronegativity. Oxyacids, or oxoacids, are chemicals that are not binary acids. They contain oxygen, like HOCl or HOBr. So when you have an oxyacid like this, the oxygen is directly connected to the hydrogen. However, the elements that are connected to the oxygen make a difference. If you compare the electronegativity of chlorine to the electronegativity of bromine, chlorine is above it in the periodic table, and that makes the electronegativity of chlorine greater than the electronegativity of bromine. So if the chlorine is pulling on the oxygen bond more strongly, that's also going to influence this bond, and it's going to weaken that bond. So that makes HOCl a stronger acid than HOBr. You also have oxyacids that have the same electronegativity. Here's one where all of them are chlorines, but they have more oxygens, and that increases the electron withdrawing effect. More of those negative electrons are going to ultimately weaken this acidic bond, and it's going to make that hydrogen more easily removed. So the strongest acid would be perchloric acid. Ka of perchloric acid is essentially infinitely large, and if you move to the one with the fewest oxygens, that Ka is very small, 10 to the negative eighth.